Yeah, we have both. Can you just that. stop the video and we start again? And so it's, it's going to be a million people. Okay. I'm not sure if you heard about the word. So Ryokan is basically like a residence. You don't have a bed to sleep. You're sleeping on the floor, oh. the tatami floor. <clears throat> <laughs> We will also be sleeping all together in one room. Oh no. <laughs> you guys don't have a choice. <laughs> I don't know if everyone's gonna love it, but I think it's something that if you're in Japan, you might as well give it a try once in your lifetime. You're not doing this? If you don't want to do it, you just tell John yourself. John? Yes? Drive me to the next train station. I'm not doing this. To the next train station? Where do you want to go? Just drive me to the next train station. Are you sure? Wait, maybe we can find a hotel or something, eh? I can have a look. And although everything sounded very dramatic, we found a hotel for John and peace was restored. Here's where we slept. And John joined us for dinner at the Rio Khan. Here at the Ryokan restaurant, the paste is prepared when the customer orders and it is made using a grater to grate the stem. Once the paste is prepared, it loses flavors in approximately 15 minutes though, if left uncovered. Wasabi is similar to hot mustard or horseradish rather than chili peppers in that it stimulates the nose more than the tongue. And most wasabi's flavoring in commerce is, however, based on horseradish and food coloring. What's this? <laughs> Two cameras. Yeah, we have both. Okay, so just right. stop the video and we start again. And so it's, it's going to be a million people. Okay. Yeah, so here we have a, a snail. Uh, this snail is uh, no, snail. From, That's a, uh, from the sea, eh? Uh, they don't call it snails, but they call it a uh, sea. Uh, this actually looks beautiful. And uh, Mike has skipped this, uh, this product. So, um, so there's a pressure now to try it myself. It's, it doesn't look really beautiful and also no. I don't want to shoot. You're just going to eat it. Just. Actually. Uh, mm. Swallow. <laughs> Is it okay? It's not bad at all. No, it's not good either. <laughs> not good either. <laughs> not good either, at least he accepts that. Mm -hmm. But I like this texture much more than the ones I had in my previous. Yeah. Um, mm. wow. <coughs> Did you have yours already? Where are we? That's the oh. one million dollar question. <laughs> <laughs> Rokan. Yeah, Rokan means um, yeah, a place to rest, essentially. It's a traditional Japanese place. Um, this this thing here, it's called, what is it called? Tatami. 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 What is it? What is it made of? Tatami. You can smell it. It's made of... Um... <laughs> <laughs> Almost a no smell. Normally it's, it's uh, bamboo, but... Yeah. Mm. Yeah, but I and, don't know um, what that is. Hello, kind of straw, you know. Yeah. And so this is this is the flooring. This is the very traditional flooring of Japan. It smells really delicious. If when you enter the room, 
You really smell like rice straw. Yeah. Restaurant. Restaurant. Yeah. Restaurant. Rice Rice straw. Right. I Warren. Feel, I feel so coffee. relaxed after yeah, the, this coffee. Yeah, uh, hot top. Yeah. So uh, both <laughs> inside, outside, and then we took the sauna, and then I put this uh, extremely cold water, put in there like a like a traditional bucket. bucket, like this wooden bucket, and then just throw it over <laughs> Mike, buddy. who was screaming like I was child. not screaming. <laughs> That's not true. Because That's an exaggeration, you know. as usual. <laughs> you just made some noise. <laughs> you made some noise. Stacy was here. Okay. Oyasumi. That's me. That means yes, good night. Oyasumi nasai. Oyasumi nasai. Oyasumi nasai. Oyasumi nasai. Oh. Okay. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. <laughs> Have you ever had fish for breakfast? Nothing new in Asia. It is like a DIY uh, mini sushi. So you yeah. take the seaweed and then you try to punch it like this and then you eat it. After that crazy night at the Rio Khan with really great and extravagant food and at the time at the onsen and other excitement, we uh, hit the road back to uh, Shizuoka where, yes, we had to say goodbye to Yuka-san. And here are some impressions on the way to Kyoto after saying goodbye to Yuka-san. So, so, see, so this is the interesting part. Um, yes. You want to you explain how to do this? Why not? I want to see, uh, see, see him how to figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, read the instructions if there is. There is an instruction. Usually it's on the side. With the three images. There's a mechanism that you need to apply on the bottle in order to open it. A mechanism. Hold on to it, hold on, hold on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Good job. <laughs> yeah. Superb. Do you have something? <laughs> Mike, you know, you have to apply something here so you can open the bottle. A mechanism. It's usually on a picture here, it's described how you do it. There is no picture. You know, it's always easier. You better record. So. <laughs> Why do you put so much force on it? Why can't you press it on the chest? No, I don't. What I did before, I was boom, <laughs> it splashed anyway. Right now we are in the bus in the Kyoto. And uh, in front of me we have here, JL Switzerland. Here we have John Ho. And we are on our way to meet uh, Dave. We have a meeting about 6.30. And we are really excited. Tomorrow we have the tea ceremony and uh, that would be a very, very special situation. Yeah, we will uh, check out the Maiko. Maiko-san. So Maiko-san is like a geisha, as I understood in, uh, in training. So they're like uh, usually some, uh, some more younger than the geisha. And uh, based on what I read, they, correct me if I'm wrong, they wear more um, colorful, colorful clothing. Your stop is here, get off! We said we need to get off! Here! This is your stop! You have to get off here! Oh! Right on, relax, relax. Oh, okay. I'm totally relaxed.
Well, good for you, Casper. We finally got off the, that bus and uh, took about a 10 minutes walk to the place where we were supposed to meet Dave. And uh, that's where we spotted the first geisha. Wow. At some stage, Dave took us off the main road and showed us a street where you could find some uh, geisha quarters. And after the geisha spotting, we got really hungry. Dave brought us to a nice little grill place, Japanese barbecue. The next morning was reserved for temple visits. We did visit a couple of temples around Kyoto and I was amazed by these wonderful colors, these buildings and this nature within those temples. It was just amazing. The crew was very happy. We really did enjoy our time in the Kyoto temples. We're now in uh, Kyoto together with the whole uh, Perry crew meetup and we are waiting for the tea ceremony. Thank you for waiting so long. So uh, now uh, we are going to start the program. So today this pro program is uh, only you guys, so it's like a private. Yes. <laughs> yes. We are really lucky. Normally you have so many person here. Yes. Okay, so, uh, I'm Akema, nice to meet you. Oh, <laughs> so today uh, the real Michael is coming to here and first uh, she will make a greeting for you and then she will uh, teach how to make matcha. <laughs> So from now she's going to put a tea powder into her tea bowl. So please be careful watching uh, how much she will put into. Is this like a something of work? Yeah. To, yeah. No, no, it's, it's, a, it's okay. not. And now watch how Maiko is uh, elegantly whisking the bowl of hot matcha green tea. And now I just let you guess who is the teacher here. There you go. That's the way to do it. So in Japan, before drinking matcha, we eat the sweets first, the next to your tea bowl. So this sweets we call the ohigashi. It means dry sweets. So made from Japanese sugar and with water. Yes, first please enjoy your sweets. We were really staring at her, and she had a hard time retaining herself. <laughs> mm. Normally in tea ceremony you have to all of them before drinking matcha, but here I 
Actually, it is customary when finished to make a slurping noise to show the tea was fully appreciated and don't be shy here. Let's see how long Casper will be able to play this game. Let's see. Well done, Casper, but you lost. You must drink. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Exactly. Drink, drink, so drink. the glass is done to what they put back. You have to drink the bottle. Mm -hmm. Let me just show you a very small sequence of uh, the dances that Michael has been performing for us. Thank you to Stacy for arranging this. We were so hungry afterwards. Keizo san brought us to some place. And Mike said thank you on behalf of everyone. Uh, yeah. You gave us such a nice uh, treatment with uh, geishas or soon to be geishas. Michael. Yeah, Michael's on the. Yeah. Also, geisha it was a, not the person. It's actually a pleasure to me or for me to meet you guys. Huh? Thank you very Same. much. Uh, Same. And once again, it was time to say goodbye and thank you to Keizo-san, Stacy, and Dave for having shared some moments on our adventure. Hey. Hey, welcome all, re welcome replay viewers. I was thinking about when the, the whole Travel Japan started um, on, uh, on Sunday when, uh, when Mike arrived in the... Uh, in, uh, in Tokyo where we were walking uh, through the Shibuya area. Uh, I already had a, a pre-walk 
um, was also really cool for me to see uh, Tokyo. And then basically the Travel Japan started when, when Mike arrived. For him it was the first time to be in, in Asia, the first time to be in, in Tokyo. It was great to see him enjoying the, for the first time the, the noodles, the ramen. After that uh, he had about four or five times more ramen. So probably he was a little bit uh, full of all the ramen. Um, but he also uh, enjoyed uh, also many other parts. And that's also what he said and that he just, that's perfect how I feel. I mean, you can travel in Japan, you can travel all around the world, uh, but traveling with, uh, with friends, uh, traveling, especially with this Periscope community, it made it very, very special for me. It feels really like a, like a family, just such a good feeling. And I think that was the most amazing part for me, uh, besides, of course, the great things that we have seen. and uh, and and. Kudos for, for Yuka uh, for organizing some part, but the, the number one kudos, if you could think about it, is John Hall, who uh, thought about this trip, organized it, and at the end of the day, uh, I was questioning, um, is it possible to do so much with uh, this different kind of people, uh, young people, older people, uh, but it was just amazing. We had uh, such a blast. Definitely the highlight was for me to uh, have the Maiko. Uh, the, I also was able to, to play the game, uh, with, with, uh, with, with her and yeah, it's just so amazing because usually you see the geisha or the maiko, the maiko is like a person who's in training, only um, either on TV or just running around and right now I had a feeling that you could see like the, the human touch, the human touch of the maiko, that she, basically she was smiling to, uh, to us, talking to us, that was such an accept, yeah, exceptional great moment. The other highlight uh, was for me also the Ryokan, uh, which was the um, yeah this this great place in this r rural remote area on this onsen village. Um, onsen village means like uh, there is some hot water, uh, like a source, um, hot spring, and so they will go basically bring the water uh, to the to the surface, and then they will distribute or redistribute the water. <laughs> Great to see you! Yeah, yeah good, let's go! Yeah, good, let's go! Are you taking a beer too? Yes, I, I was just uh, thinking about all the highlights. <laughs> I know, we... Uh, uh, this is the last highlight of the, the Travel Japan. No. Mike, we love you. Cheers! Love you. Cheers! <laughs> you just have to watch us drink beer, okay? I can put this gun up there. Oh, it's so... It's so... Oh, God, oh, it's so good, Mike. For relaxing times, <laughs> mega centauri times. As an experience as such, I would say that um, the food was one highlight after the other, basically. Yeah. <laughs> one of the highlights was the, the meeting, the meetup uh, yeah. with the karaoke. I thought the karaoke was great, how people just got together that just, just met and were able to just go in a in a room and just sing together and all that this was like this was great because we were all coming from different backgrounds i mean obviously some people know each other some others don't mostly we didn't know those people who came today and uh, came that day and i thought that was something quite special i thought that was very special this is uh at the very beginning it was it was only like expected to have one to two people traveling together <laughs> Um, but later on, it became a, a, a group of five. Now I have no problem with that. But understanding, like, under, I, I knew that oh, you know, there were a few people who've never been to Japan, or it's been a long, long time. I thought it would be a good idea to just have a very intense trip, but have as much variety as possible. So we had the city, we had the countryside, you know, we had the culture and all that. So. All okay, right. that's it. That's it. Okay, guys. So we end up with a last with cheers. Beer. Last cheers. Thank you. <laughs> and thank you all. Take care. Bye bye. Bye bye. Take care. Ciao. Ciao. Bye.